Hey y'all, I got a question. Am I the only one that gets rejected by a lot of females? Cause every time when I try to talk to a female, she always be like, you don't need to know my name. When I try to ask her name, try to get to know her for her personality. And also when I try to uh, talk to females, they always um, ignore me, they always block me. And you know, when I said, hey, how are you? And my name's Ladarius, so I want to get to know you cause I think you're a, I think you're a kind person. And, I am a respectful person that has a lot of common sense and I kept get, and I kept getting constantly rejected by a lot of females. I'm afraid that I will never have no wife, no no girlfriend because they keep rejecting me because they think I'm ugly and unattractive and I know I'm not. Yeah, I think I would never uh get a girlfriend because I'm afraid because of talk to a female because I'm afraid of a lot of females reject me again, and I don't want to keep getting hurt again. But I kept, but I kept getting rejected by a lot of females, and that bothers my soul a lot. And it makes me sad a lot because I don't think no female would want me, nor want to go out with me, nor want to get to, nor want to get to know me, because every female that I try to talk to kept constantly reject me, and it's sad to me. It always happened to me, like. Somebody put a curse on me that a lot of females don't want to speak to me, nor want to uh, communicate with me, nor want to uh, get to know me, just like I want to get to know them for their personality. It's like, it's like every female don't want me. Every female don't want to go out with me because they think I'm unattractive and they think I'm ugly, which is sad. And another thing, I hope somebody uh, will give me a chance to... Um, get to know uh them so that way I could get to know them as friends first and once we get to know each other a lot then we can date and I hope uh someday it will happen to me. I hope that person will give me a chance because I've been rejected a lot since high school and I still reject it now and I'm twenty five years old and I still kept I still kept getting rejected by a lot of females which is sad on my part. It always happened to me and it's saddens me a lot. Black Ram 313 back at it again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, hence another therapy session. Man, the brother says he's been getting rejected left and right. Probably doesn't know anything but rejection, right? So let me talk about this for a minute. Because the tendency is, is for you to blame oneself. In fact, let me begin with myself. This is no bragging or boasting about me. This is about you. Maybe you can relate to, right? But check this out. I, Black Ram 313, see myself as a cool, smooth, suave, and debonair, which makes me extraordinaire. Well, that's the type of cat I am. West side of Chicago, K-Town. That's just who I am and what I do, right? But check it out. That doesn't mean that the ladies see me the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it was a time when they did, but not so much anymore. Well, what changed? Why do I get rejected just as much as this gentleman? My rejection rate probably is 99.5%. Why? Let's examine that. Former thuggo here, and when I was thuggo, there was no problem. Changed my life and got rejected over and over again, right? And then I decided to grow my hair out a little bit. Had some locks, which gave me kind of an edge to me. And maybe that produced different results uh, because I had a team back then. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is now is that I'm more of a regular guy than ever before. Average height for guys. Well, maybe even an inch below average. I think average height, maybe about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, I'm 5'8". Government job, get about an average income. About, you know, 50K a year on my job, on my hard full-time job, stressful full-time job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Average guy. Average weight, um, close to 200 on the weight, you know. Not real big, not real small. You know, some people may say husky, but not, you know. Too big, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I don't huff and puff when I run up the stairs. Yeah, your average everyday brother, around average height, around average weight, 
Some may even say a round average looks so or greater. I don't know. The ladies can be the judge of that. Go to work every day. Groom myself. I mean, I me, mean, I mean, so I'm saying got the little, little earring again. Got the, you know, the little gray in the beard. Got a little nice watch on. You feel, you know, I, my clothes ain't bad, you know. Fresh, he's showered. I think that I can enunciate, pronounce words well. I think I can have a great conversation. But I get rejected at about 99.5% of the time if I'm cold approaching, which I don't do anymore. Took a vow never to do that again. On a dating site, it's just a washout. Uh, only Landwells and Bertha's uh, reply. And even then, they have a problem with your guy right here, man. Even then. So what's the issue here? Well, when it comes to dating, they've become more delusional, more entitled, and just plain old, no, I don't want to say that word because we on the YouTube. <laughs> we on YouTube, I don't want to say that word, but it's almost as if their minds are completely in the stratosphere, if you know what I mean. We got a word for that called out there, rabbit, you know, know what, mine, but you know, we don't have to really talk like that here. One thing you have to understand, although I look at myself as a thorough dude, clean, well put together, I don't think I'm that bad on the eyes. The dating scene today, man, is like never before. It wasn't like this in the 90s and the early 2000s. If you're not thuggo, you're really going to have a hard time. In fact, if you're not thuggo, you're probably going to be hot. You have to be probably about six foot six. Uh built like a tank in a lot of money, not six figures. I mean, need to make probably 250, 350 on the bread, right? So if you're not thuggo, six foot six at least, built like a tank, chiseled body, chiseled jawline, might need about 250 on the income. But if you are thuggo, you can be the complete opposite. I've seen thuggo at five foot two, five foot three, five foot four, five foot five. I've seen thuggo that's dirty. I've seen thuggo that doesn't know how to talk or speak. I saw Thuggo with nothing, with beautiful, beautiful ladies. That's just my experience. So maybe as an everyday guy, that's the problem. Not that there's something wrong physically with you. Not that there's something wrong socially, mentally, or even economically, financially. No, none of those things, man. No, 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 no. Either you have to be Thuggo in them or extremely tall and rich. Extremes, I know. But that's the point. Today, it's all about extremes. Now, I'm not saying that no lady will talk to the average guy. Hey, maybe I'm just not attractive. Maybe you watching this video, maybe you get them. Maybe you get them all day. I can't, though. I can't get them all day. I, I get rejected 99.5% of the time. And the 0.5% of the time when I'm uh, selected, again, Bertha, Landwell and such. And here go the thing. They come with a terrible attitude, man. Shouldn't be talking to them anyway. So what's my advice for this guy, man? What's my advice? The first thing I'll say is don't internalize this. See, it ain't nothing wrong with me. There's something wrong with these H to the Izzos. Ain't nothing wrong with me. No, 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 no. Again, I'm a thorough dude. Smooth, cool, calm, collective. All of that good stuff. I'm a thorough dude. Got my mind together. You know, drive a little something that's a, somewhat nice, you know. But it ain't about the money to finance. It's that the fact that you're an average guy who might have a head on his shoulder. Who can articulate himself. You actually might be somebody. Now, I know the date coaches say, oh, a lack of confidence. And you need to do A through Z. Nah, 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 nah. Don't internalize it. Ain't nothing wrong with me, brother. And ain't nothing wrong with you. Talking about the brother at the beginning of this video. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. The problem are these H to the Izzos. So my first advice, brother, do not internalize this. No, don't internalize it. No, 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 no. There's something, something deeply wrong with the dating scene today. And you are not the cause, and you are not the problem, dear brother. 
That's the thing. So the first solution for you and any brother who might be like that, don't internalize. Listen, as much as I get rejected, in fact, I ain't going to say as much. All I do is get rejected. Um, a person would have the tendency to, tendency to internalize that. And he said that he think and feels like he's cursed or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I understand and empathize with those feelings. I, I really do. I really do get that. But it's not you that's cursed, brother. It's the world that we now live in, the world of dating, where a decent, everyday, hardworking brother with integrity is rejected. And the ones, again, who are selected is by Big Bertha or Quita with four kids, three baby daddies, you know, the rundown. That's what you get. If you get that, and then even Quita, with all of that going on, again, she is, um, she's a ton. Yeah, 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 she's a ton. A uh, lot of kiddos, a lot of kiddos, yeah, 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 yeah. But they'll tell you something like they want to be courted. Treated like that beautiful 19 or 20 year old who hasn't been unwrapped. Courtship, this is what they expect. Again, there's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with these H to the isos. Yes. So that's the first thing. Don't internalize it. The second thing you need to do, dear brother, and not that this is perfect, but the second thing you need to do, dear brother, the second thing, after you decide not to internalize, the second thing you need to do, dear brother, the second thing you need to do, dear brother, is get you a passport. Oh yeah, get you a passport. Because see here and there, uh, places like Colombia, places like the Philippines, places like Thailand, if you an everyday hardworking brother, well, yeah, they like you. Oh yeah, they like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can deal with you. Yes, yes. Dating in America is finished over with finito done listen life is short and you should have this many or this big of a challenge doing something that's natural things that people have been doing society human beings have been doing since the beginning of time which is dating getting married and having a family or some form of that but now it'll be easier for you to learn how to build rockets to go into outer space than to find a decent lady to date. Hmm. Again, it's not you, dear brother. It's not you. It's them. It's the society. Don't internalize, man. Get your passport, brother. And I do understand exactly how you feel. Because me, Black Room 313, rejected all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Not attractive, not tall enough, whatever it might be. But again, the problem was with them, not with me. Black Ram 313, I'm out.